A bill that would help fund the local governments is getting its final vote in the state capitol after months of debate. Political reporter Will Keneally is live at the capitol with the latest. Charlotte, this is the kind of funding that we've heard from mayors literally helps them keep the lights on. So it's a really big move that we've seen the final passage of this here tonight. And within the last few minutes, the state Senate has signed off on the proposal. Some area Democrats join Republicans in supporting the motion, including Melissa Agard from Madison and Mark Spreitzer from Beloit. Now, Assembly Speaker Robin Voss says what the legislature will ultimately approve tonight reflects those months-long negotiations between Republican lawmakers and the governor said before and I'll say it again many of our members still have heartburn about the idea that the voters are not the ones deciding but it was part of a broader agreement so I think most of us are in a pretty good place on that we heard from Speaker Voss there earlier today that the local funding bill is now working its way through the state assembly now in a matter of days it will head to the governor's desk and we caught up with Governor Evers during a stop in Monroe earlier today I have not had the chance because I've been on the road to talk to staff. I know that uh, uh, that's being discussed right at the, this moment. And yeah, I'm concerned. I mean, we should be able to get this thing done. Now, there are a lot of moving pieces to this bill, for example, requiring Milwaukee to put a certain amount of money towards law enforcement and also raise a local sales tax. But across the board, we're expecting to see roughly 20 percent more state funding go to these municipalities like Madison here. Now, we don't know exactly how much Madison will get. This is all happening, obviously, within the last few hours here at the state capitol. And we're still waiting for legislative lawyers to kind of parse some of that lingo and actually give us a final number. We should expect to see that in the next coming days here. Reporting from the Capitol, Will Keneally, News 3 Now.